every time I put out an Instagram post announcing a launch or a sale, it always flops. Every single time. If you came from my first part of this video, which was me prepping for this launch, then hello. And if you haven't seen that yet, I mean, you have to run to it, but make sure you bounce back over to that. Anyways, hi, you guys. My name is Taylor. I'm the founder and designer of NYGC or Not Your Grandma's Crochet. And today I launched a new product, which I haven't done since April or March. I don't know. It's currently September 17th. And I took all the photos, made all the product listings and everything in the first part, and now all the products are officially live and we need to market. Ideally, if you were a better business owner <laughs> than I was, you would probably have at least planned ahead a day, if not more to give yourself the most time possible to market however i've been talking about these on my instagram especially so yeah i don't know i have no excuse but anyways i need to hop over and post some photos here are some of the photos that i'll post for now and i'll be back when i'm making my newsletter okay it's currently 5 43 i've posted my instagram post posted some stories and i've also posted a tiktok oh i'm gonna need to airdrop that to myself but i'll update you first now i'm going to post on my youtube shorts as well as post on pinterest we are in good shape it is 5 57 all of my social media posts are done i posted my youtube short i oh i'm gonna need to schedule that facebook post but anyways i posted a pin tiktok instagram instagram stories and i already scheduled an instagram reel to go live tomorrow and i want to schedule a facebook post just because i know my brain and i'm probably gonna forget currently let's see the posts are hitting someone we have three live visitors on the website one of which is in Denmark which is fun funky and fresh I do ship internationally if you're curious but yeah this is something that I just really like about Shopify so like as you can see I can see like who like how many sessions or people have visited my store this is how many people are currently on my store and then it has this like fun little globe feature that shows you if I can get to Denmark. Oh my gosh. Technology. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. I'm not getting anywhere near Denmark. Okay, let's just go to United States. You can see there's one person in Kansas and one person in... Ca Ooh, we're at five now. I'm now going to work on my newsletter for my email subscribers do not sleep on email subscribers that's another reason why i really like shopify um because essentially during a period in my life while i was still in school when i couldn't necessarily take on orders but I went viral, it was nice that people could go to my website and I had it password protected, but they could enter in their email to be notified when I did eventually reopen my website. And so now I have all these people, I think I have like 1,100 or 1,200 people on my um, newsletter or like subscribe to get emails from me. I don't really do the best with email marketing I don't really do the best with any type of marketing, but especially email marketing, I really don't do the best with. And I really should do better since that's like quite a bit of people who initially signed up with the intent to maybe possibly buy something. So <clears throat> let's get inspired and create something fun, funky, and fresh. I think the biggest thing with me with email marketing is that... 
I get lost when it comes to the subject. Obviously, that's not like the biggest, most important. I mean, it is kind of low key the biggest, most important part because like that's what's going to like captivate people to, you know, actually click into the email. So I think because I feel a bit of pressure when it comes to the perfect subject line and whatnot, then the thing with my brain is like if I can find a reason to like put something off because there's something about it that I don't necessarily feel comfortable about or whatever, then my brain is like, yep, there's a reason. <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe we should actually challenge ourselves. <laughs> maybe quite possibly we should challenge ourselves. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see. Hmm. There's a lot of things that I really could do a better job about. Especially things like Pinterest. I have gotten more active on Pinterest, but if there was ever a platform that I would put ads on, it would be Pinterest. More on that later if I ever do, actually. Another good thing about Shopify, they already have some templates. Obviously, they're not the absolute best in the world, but oh wow. Low key. That's what I needed. Okay, per. <laughs> so I clicked on it. It was like a new arrivals one and it it low key did exactly what I what I needed to. Okay. So I'm going to only make this two if possible. Two images that it would it be more fun if you could actually see what I'm doing yeah probably okie dokie so here's what I see as you can see I have 1100 a little bit more than 1100 email subscribers um as I send out more emails people do unsubscribe but the for the most part I would say this has been about where I've been at for the past year and I've sent out at least four-ish emails this year anyways and this is just straight from the template so it already has my logo it already has this little bit which i don't think i like the this season part um and i'll also probably change that i want to change this to just being two products as opposed to four products so we're going to deselect all the ready to ship ones and we're just gonna add the made to order versions small where you at buddy right here Okay, fun, funky, and fresh. I also don't like that this is black necessarily, but I think my NYGC blue might be a bit too much. Mm, I don't hate it. We can just change the text color to black. Okay, cool. Um, I don't really need this. I can delete that. And do, do what do I want to do about this? Probably make this two products. We don't need this here. Scrunchy, and I don't want both of these to be a medium. So let's add. A small burgundy burgundy small at and I want these to be bigger 
so we're not going to do anything with that. And I should be able to make this bigger now. Yeah, that's slightly better. This also looks cropped because it is. And I think I do low key want to add the price. And do I want the description? That's kind of fun. Why is it only showing for one? Oh. All right, I like that. I wish that this was all in one line. And I can do something about that. Perfect. Maybe we can make the price slightly bigger. Mm-hmm. And I might go and change those, but I'm unsure. We're gonna make this button blue. Can I make this text blue? I want it to go to Meshbag's collection page. And now we want to narrow. Mm hmm. And. That's fine for now. Okay, but anyways, I was going to talk about how I have had interesting launches in the past. It can be due to a range of different things, most of which the fact that I oftentimes get overwhelmed. Like, the whole making process is one thing, and then when it comes time to like actually start marketing that, hey, this is actually happening, I either am doing it for such a long period, as in marketing that it's about to happen for such a long period, that by the time it does actually happen, whether it is the actual time of day or whatever, it just doesn't go super well. Or two, in the past, I would focus too much on one platform being my main marketing tool, i.e. Instagram typically, and historically. Every time I put out an Instagram post announcing a launch or a sale, it always flops. Every single time. Every single time. It literally makes me crazy. That every single time. Like, and I'm not even saying that, like, my posts do super well, but I usually get an average of, on, like, a carousel post, somewhere around, like, 30 likes. That's usually, like, what I can depend on. Now, on a reel these days trenches but on a photo type situation we're usually sitting around 30 likes one like maybe five likes <laughs> so that can get really frustrating oh yeah okay i really like that now let's think What do we want to say about this? I think I'm actually going to copy the description from my website. Because <laughs> why not? New product alert. Actually, I think I'll make that.
All right, so the subject, new product alert, the crochet shoulder bag you've been looking for. That eats, not bad. Now for my description. All right, Shopify just allowed me to generate a slightly better title with this little thing, which is kind of fun. It gives suggestions, but anyways, the new subject is must have crochet shoulder bags available now then the preview of the text which doesn't really matter this is the mobile version by the way oh maybe i should just go to review okay anyways so we have the subject line the little i don't like that the first name is at the end there let's edit hold on Anyways, so we have the photo of the bag, we have meet the bow shoulder bag, available in small and medium size as made to order and ready to ship. We have these, buy now, and then these, the ready to ship. Then we have my email, you can unsubscribe if you don't, if you want to, please don't. Pretty decent, I would say, considering I made that in, I honestly don't know how long. That probably took a solid 20 minutes, to be honest. Let's get ready to send. But yeah, I really like it because, like, if I go into my past ones, there was a 60% open rate on my most recent one, which was a shop now. Mm -hmm. That's kind of fun. Maybe I should have had... I don't remember what I had initially. Ooh, this kind of looks nice. But anyways, it'll tell me like the open rate. It'll tell me how many people unsubscribe. Let me see if I can find that information. Okay. From my last email, I did not get any orders for my last email. I had a 99% delivery rate, only 0.3% of people unsubscribe. 10 people click into it and like browse my website and all 1100 emails were sent. Sometimes they'll like tell me the actual numbers, but I won't do that today. Well, anywho. We're still sitting at our five, our five site visitors for the day. And I'm just waiting for this email to send. I always love to watch. Usually that creates an uptick in page visits for sure. Currently it is sending. It doesn't take super long to send, but you know, it takes a little bit of time. Anywho, let's check on our post. We have one view on Pinterest <laughs> per. We have. 4 views on YouTube per oh but we did get more views on our YouTube video so I will take both 2 likes on the YouTube post that I made wonderful I wish it told you how many people saw it anyways let's go over to meta all right, we did get more likes on the Instagram post, and we got one like on the Facebook post, which is fun, funky, fresh. Let me see if I can edit the Facebook post. Uh, let me see if I can edit the Facebook post to include the link. Okay, my Instagram post has currently only reached 15 people, and of those 15 people, three people liked it, so... We're shooting a third, or what is that? One fifth? Three fifths? 
three for this. I think it's actually one fifth of three fifteenths. Anyways, <laughs> let's look at the TikTok. The TikTok's doing pretty good. We're at 142 views, 12 likes, no comments. TikTok is my biggest, not even biggest, it is my biggest platform. But anyways, no major updates for now. Good morning, girlies. I thought I would come on to update you on how the launch ended up going. The launch was about a little bit over a week ago at this point. And I haven't gotten any orders. So in a very general business sense, it was definitely a fail. I mentioned in the initial clips that I don't typically get orders on launch day so I wasn't necessarily expecting that but I was hoping that some of my marketing efforts would get pushed out and that that would help to drum up a few sales potentially but alas currently it's very much so crickets which is fine um how do you say in this business with what I do I would say <laughs> I would say that you know you see some other like I follow a lot of other business owners on YouTube and they have these like crazy launches that like go super well but also you have to kind of take into consideration just the type of product that they're selling even if their product is handmade, it's often not handmade in the same way. That's also very time consuming for each individual product. Therefore, they can price it at either they can price it at a lower range. So say it's like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something like that. Or it's something that people already assumed to be of a certain value so let's say like a candle or something like that and even then like it's probably just gonna be like a 30 or 40 dollar candle like it's still not nothing too big so i'm fully aware that in this crochet art fashion brand that i have established that the product that i am trying to sell is a little bit it's very much so not essential and it very much so requires a particular type of consumer. I don't feel bad or down that I had a failed launch by any means um, and I will continue to promote these bags. I hope that I hope that I am able to get in order to sometime soon. Sometimes it takes a bit more time um, than what I've given myself. And I, as I said, my content thing on this channel is talking about how marketing wise, marketing wise is definitely something that I could probably strengthen. I feel like it's starting to get better, but I still don't have a clear and consistent vision for what I would like that to look like um and I think that's okay like I am a one woman show I can't be 10 out of 10 good at everything and marketing specifically is just something that I'm going to have to continue to work at so I say that I'll say that I feel like people Oftentimes, they see me, they see my business, they see that I price the way that I price, they see that I have a pretty decent size following, and they maybe assume that my business goes a particular way. And here's the reality. Um, 
and that's just life. But I feel like it's even more encouraging and important to have these conversations as business owners. And this is the reason why I made my YouTube channel in the first place is because I didn't see at the time a lot of crochet business owners talk about the struggles of the design progress as well as the struggle of being like made to order and stuff. I feel like I'm starting to see a few more channels and I feel like it's cool. I'm not saying I started a trend or anything, but I am just saying that it's cool to continue to see more perspectives and more business owners come on here and talk about, you know, what their experience is selling and selling out and not selling and all the above. So by no means should you be discouraged by not getting any orders by no means should you necessarily feel like you need to run and change your prices or because at the end of the day even if you price things 20 dollars lower than what you price them at the chance the 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 chance that that's going to lead to more people buying it as opposed to how am I trying to put this <laughs> a lot of times especially with crochet the issue isn't necessarily price because sometimes people would maybe be more willing to buy at a lower price but for other people they're just not interested you know and it's just more so about not reaching your target audience more than it is decreasing your price or whatever so i would rather have the prices that i have and know that i'm charging closer to what i should be charging than underselling or underpricing and underselling anyways <laughs> I feel like this probably deserves a more deep heart-to-heart -heart conversation, not just me or my, like, ramblings <laughs> when I'm first waking up, but those are my thoughts. Um, if you are interested in checking out the bags, they are on my website. Oh, by the way, I, this week, I think there were two different things that I saw this week that I forgot to do on the website. Like, I completely forgot to add in my app that allows you to, like, type out the color that you want. So, people couldn't do that <laughs> when they're, like, if they were to order. I also, on my homepage, forgot to link to the bags on, like, the display that I had in the slideshow. So, Oh, but I will say the marketing, the photos, the videos and stuff that I took has been doing pretty well, all things considered. Whenever I post it, people do go to the page. So I have hope that as long as I'm continuing to work on what consistency in terms of posting a bit higher quality imagery and videos of the stuff, I hope that eventually that can turn into more cells especially as i am seeing that it is leading to more website visits so that's it for me um i hope you guys enjoyed this very real video um i feel like i look forward to doing more of these and hopefully increasing the quality on that too because i know the angles were a little bit crazy so anyways, that's enough of me blabbering. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday.